<laughs> Hi, my name is Bianca Muniz. I am 29 years old. I'm a singer, songwriter, and three-time cancer survivor and advocate with the TP53 mutation. The first time I was diagnosed was at 11 years old, and it was ovarian cancer. And I was a skinny little girl, but my stomach was just really sticking out. And my mom thought I was pretending. She thought I was forcefully pushing out my stomach. And we went back and forth, me saying no, her saying stop it. And she realized I wasn't lying. And so she called the doctors and nurses back in and I was rushed to the ER. And I had every test and scan done in the books. And a few days later, I had my first major surgery. They gave me a little bit of time before starting chemo to heal from surgery, build up my immune system. We moved houses so I could have my own bathroom and just have everything sterile for chemo. And then I started six months of chemo, super rigorous. It was called the Red Devil. It all happened very quickly and my parents tried to keep the fact that I had cancer from me for a while because they thought I wouldn't understand it. And then finally, after being in the hospital and having all these surgeries, they realized that they really did have to try to tell me. And my response was, if I'm alive, then I'm fine. And that's kind of been my motto throughout life. If I'm alive and I'm here, then I'm okay. I was diagnosed the second time at 22 years old with breast cancer. After my ovarian cancer diagnosis, I realized how important it was to get to know my own body. And so I started doing self-checks. And throughout high school, I kept finding these lumps in my breast. Eventually, right before I graduated college actually at 21, I found one that felt significantly different and I went back in and the doctor told me she didn't want to turn me into a cutting board and that we'd keep an eye on it. I knew it was very different. So by the time I got back in to get this checked out again was a year later and it had grown significantly along with multiple other ones. That is when we finally did genetic testing because they thought the first cancer was just a fluke and then the second time they were thinking, oh, this may be a pattern. And it turns out I have a mutation called TP53, also known as Lee from Mini Syndrome, and it basically predisposes me to multiple types of cancer. And so with this mutation, I need to have full body MRIs every year, along with other blood work and scans for each specific type of cancer that I've had and could possibly get. And that leads me to the third cancer. That's how we found it early because of early detection because of my MRIs. So during one of my annual scans, they saw a mass on my lung. And because we caught it so early, I didn't need chemo or radiation or anything else. We were just able to have a segmentectomy and I'd like to say move on, but that recovery took so long to move on from. If I was born in a lower income country, I wouldn't have had the access to the MRIs and the scans and the nuclear medicine that I needed to be able to get even past that first diagnosis. The Rays of Hope initiative is not just about treating cancer. It's about bringing hope to those who are often left in the shadows of inadequate healthcare systems. If I were able to talk to myself as a child or when I was a child, I would tell myself that we get through it and everything is okay and we're happy and even though we have a mutation and we keep getting sick, we're creating a life that we love living.